So I just wanted to make a quick guide about the dogs because I feel like a lot of things about the dogs are not talked about. Um, so to begin with, you have to understand their behavior before uh, knowing how to like counter them. Once you, it's the first time that you see them, they have this phase where like they're curious, right? Where they won't instantly jump at you and just like do that thing if you make any type of noise around them. If you talk, for example. Hello? See, that was like too much noise. Um, because I've already like walked next to them. And now they're just gonna do that for a while. And if you make noise, they're gonna go straight for you. As you can see. They're super aggressive, right? But if I... Wait a little bit. There you go. Now, they're back. Hello? 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 They're back at their phase of... Curiosity. Like you can see. So you just gotta let them chill a little bit. And if you aggro them again, by just running away too much, they are gonna do that again. So the counterplay, as you can see, uh, I've done different things, which is, as you can see, I am running, but he doesn't hear me. Um, I will explain that later, but to begin with, I want to talk about just strafing. If the, run, the dog is running at you, do not go in a straight line. He will chase you until he's close enough to dash, right? So, since the dog goes to your last known location, what you want to do is when he comes to you, just strafe him and stop making noise. He's always going to go to your, the last location where you made noise. So, that is really good because you can actually like bait his movement properly. Um, so if I make noise here, and I go that way, I think I made noise too early. Yeah, okay. If I made noise here, go here, he's just gonna, gonna strafe there. Um, what are noise cues? So the noise cues are walking, running, making sound in your microphone, uh, dropping items. Basically, the jetpack also make noise, so you have to be extremely careful when you use the jetpack. Also, falling from higher up um, makes noise. So, example, I fall here. Even if I'm crouched and the dog is near, like, close enough, he will hear that. If I jump from here to here, he will hear that. If I jump from here to here, he won't hear because the height is higher than my initial jump. Um, same for the railings. So I can't just jump down here. He's going to hear. Um, that works. And also, some items make noise. So these two annoying items always make noise. Or most of the time. Um, a good way to stop that is you want to drop them and pick them up until they stop making noise. Note that if you go back to that slot in your inventory, they might start making noise again. Uh, just note that the phone does not make noise. It's client-sided. So even if you hear that scream, it doesn't do anything. Of course, Clown Horn and Loud Horn both make noise. So the two advanced techniques to go around them is if you spam jump, the dog cannot hear you. So as you can see, this height 
He doesn't hear me, right? This height, he does hear me. So they hear you from pretty far up. If you want to be using jetpack, make sure you don't land above the ship. Like that, because if the, the dogs follow you really good, they're really good at tracking under you. Look at the height I have and he's still following me. So if I use, if I go above the ship, the dogs will simply go inside the ship, right? That's why when you use a jetpack and you are far with the dog, uh, hello dog. You want to stop using a jetpack before making him to the ship so he doesn't hear you. Um, if he's really close, he will hear you step when you get on the ship. And same way if I jump down here, he will hear me. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of bugged, but yeah. But this is why jetpacks are really bad with dogs if you don't really know what you're doing. Uh, you can come from a different angle. And he's just going to go there. Uh... You can use the back of the ship to bait the dogs out if they go inside. Hello, hello, dog, dog, dog. So, yeah, the dog is about to go inside the ship. You can use that at the back of the ship. If dogs scare you and really want to deal with them, uh, you can close the door, bait them to the door, and actually kill them through it. You can just sit here. You see how the hitbox is pushing me back? That means the dog is right there. Um, and if you just keep sweating, before the door open, of course. There you go. You can kill a dog through the door. Uh, problem with that is that other doors can respawn and or giants or anything else, sandworms. So you might not want to kill the dogs. Um, it's pretty useless, especially if you're an eclipse. But yeah, uh, that's up to you. So I just want to show you guys how you can also uh, crouch run. This technique that you probably guys probably see a lot um this does not make you go faster i don't know why people started saying that it does not like use less stamina it, i haven't finished stamina right here of course but it uses the same amount of stamina makes you go the same amount same speed as if you're running it's just a way to make sure that the dogs don't hear you uh as you can see i have control but uh basically i use my side mouse button for that uh, the easiest way, if you really want to do that, is honestly rebinding your keybind to C, to crouch. Because it's way easier to hold shift and spam C, to crouch, than doing control and shift. Uh, so yeah, the, that's basically how you do it. You simply run and crouch. But I see something that a lot of people do, most people do, that is not correct. Uh, example, they're crouching, they want to start crouch running they're gonna press both as you can see you hear my footstep at the beginning right it makes a step that's really bad because it aggro's like kind of an amazing it can be annoying so a way to stop that um uh, is basically you have to stop moving stop moving and press w hold shift press w as soon as you, you start spamming your crouch even if you're crouch it will work even if you're standing it will work um, this makes sure that the initial step is not occurring. Like if I was moving and I started sprinting. Something I want to add. Hello, hello, hello. Dog, don't leave. Um, dogs cannot climb the ladder, but they can go down. So if you make noise and you're above, dog, dog, dog. Hello, hello, hello. If you make noise, go up the ladder it will go all the way around hello hello as you can see he's just going down if I were to make sound down there below the light he would teleport and come eat me so if you go down on that light you are fully safe as long as you don't jump you can hug this and the dog won't be able to bite you and you can also kill them here
like that. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys learned something new. Um, I also wanted to add that I stream almost every day on Twitch. Um, I have a lot of exams right now, so my schedule is a little different. Um, I will be uploading more videos though. So um, subscribe if you're not already. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon.